Let's get you back to the All Pro Capital courtside seats and rejoin Jason Shepard. Start of the fourth quarter, BYU possession, inbounding to Amari Whiting. Crosses midcourt, picks up the dribble to Montevau. Montevau spins away from the defense, fouled on the way up, shot no good. She'll head back to the free throw line. Good aggressive play by the freshman. Congratulations goes out to BYU women's soccer advancing on to the Elite Eight. They trailed 1-0 to Michigan State at Southfield and then managed to score three in a row to win 3-1 advance on. First free throw by Montevau is good. It was also a good night for BYU men's basketball. This was not in doubt. You knew they were going to beat Morgan State, but they ended up winning by 43. 93-50 is the final score from the Marriott Center. Montevau's second free throw, front rim, no good. Rebound, Wake Forest. Harrison quickly up the court. Now to Williams. Now down low to Coles. Coles keeps the pivot foot, steps through, and nice bank shot. In for two. 48-25, BYU's lead is 23. 30 seconds into the fourth quarter here. Montevau drives baseline. And I think she stepped out of, either they stepped out of bounds or they call a foul or just... Knocked that off of Wake Forest. I think they're just going to say that it was just knocked off of Wake Forest. So BYU will keep it. Amari will inbound baseline. Gets it to Woolston. On the baseline, hits it for two. 15-foot jump shot from the baseline. And that is your leading scorer, Kaylee Woolston, with 15 points. Lauren Gustin has 13. Oh, by the way, Lauren with 21 rebounds. BYU's lead is 50-25, a 25-point advantage. Madison Jordan spinning in the lane for two. Nice move. And it's 50-27, Cougars. Wake showing some pressure, but certainly not like it was to start the second half. Bubakar hands off to Woolston. Kaylee in some trouble. Passes out to Rose. Rose. Now to Matavau and to Whiting. Whiting, right side of the floor. Five seconds for a shot. Matavau thought about the three. There's three seconds. Down low to Gustin. Quick shot. No good. Rebound to Wake Forest. Harrison pushes it. Strong drive. Uses the left hand. Can't get it to go. The 22nd rebound for Lauren Gustin. And here come the Cougars right back. Up 50 to 27. Woolston back to Whiting. Into Rose to the corner. Her three is no good. Rebound. To Williams. And down court all the way to a wide open Thurkoff. And that was just really good transition offense. There was one player free. And it's 50-29. BYU. A timeout on the floor. And I believe they've made it full. They have. We'll take it. 50-29. 7.56 left here in... Quarter number four on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Women's Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Hey, Cougar fans, get more savings and more benefits with Boost by Smith's Rewards Rewards membership. You'll enjoy free delivery and two fuel points for every dollar you spend on groceries and lots more. Membership starts at just $59, so sign up today at smithsfoodanddrug.com slash boost. 7.56 7.56 left here in quarter number four. BYU up 50-29 to 29 on Wake Forest. Up next, a matchup with the Billikens of St. Louis on Tuesday. Cougars into the front court. Matavau in the corner. Back to Bubakar. Rose, top of the key. Dribbles out of pressure. Hands off to Woolston. Woolston leading the Cougars in scoring with 15. Now Smiler on the wing. 10 seconds for the BYU to get a shot off. Down to Calvert. Calvert rolls, uses glass, gets it to go, count it, and she's fouled. A beautiful pick and roll, and Calvert scores and has a chance to make it a three-point play. 52-29, BYU. Calvert going to the free throw line. 7.31 remaining. Emma with four points. Make it five. 
Calvert with a three-point play. And it's 53-29, Cougars. Williams drives baseline, goes underneath the rim, fouled on her way up, and she'll shoot two. She by far has been the most aggressive Demon Deacon. And this is what Wake Forest wants to do. They're a one-on-one team. When they get the ball, they're trying to take you out one-on-one. And we've seen that every time Elise Williams has had the ball. She, she's not looking to pass. First free throw is good. 53-30. Cougars up 23. With 721 left here at BYU-Hawaii. Second free throw, no good. Rebound, Rose. By the way, former BYU football coach Bronco Mendenhall. He and his wife Holly on campus. They will be speaking here at BYU-Hawaii on Tuesday. So I thought there was a chance we may see him tonight, but haven't seen him yet. But he's here and will speak to the student body, or at least those in attendance, on uh, Tuesday. Wake Forest will be called for the foul. Fouled Kaylee Smiler, who had the ball. We're here at the George Q. Cannon Activity Center here at BYU-Hawaii. Matzavau will inbound, side out, into Woolston, freshman to freshman. Woolston to Smiler, so one Kaylee to another. Now to Calvert. Calvert hands back to Woolston. Woolston dribbling along the perimeter. They'll work it onto the left side of the court to Smiler. Five seconds for the Cougars. Matzavau, three-point range, two seconds. Not sure she knows, throws it up and gets it to go. Oh, who am I to judge? She knew exactly what she was doing. Banked it in, 55-30. What a beautiful move, and she just heaved it up. Matavau gets it to go, 55-30, a 25-point advantage with six and a half left, and a turnover on the other end by Wake Forest. BYU inbounds. The aforementioned Matavau back to Rose, and now... Cross court to Calvert. BYU finally crosses midcourt. Woolston backing down on Harrison. Hands to Calvert. Calvert high post. Back to Woolston. Woolston from the free throw line. Pulls up for the jump shot. Rose with the rebound and quickly puts it back up and in. The rebound and the put back by Rose Bubakar. And it's 57-30, 27-point lead. For the home team. Under six minutes left. This has been all Cougars. They trailed once. It was two to one. Haven't trailed since. Williams picks up the dribble, passes out of the double team. Down on the ground is Coles and Matavau. Jump ball, and the possession arrow stays with Wake Forest. And... We'll have a substitution. Amari Whiting back in. And uh, first appearance of the day for Marina Mata. Aliyah Matavau and Kaylee Woolston will take a seat. So Mata, Calvert, Smiler, Whiting, and Bubakar. The five on the floor for the BYU Cougars with 540 left here in this one. It is Wake Forest ball. Kaya Harrison will inbound baseline with six seconds left. For the Demon Deacons to get a shot. They'll get it into Quimby. Quimby. Back to Harrison with two. Pulls up from the baseline and gets it to go. Nice jump shot from about 15 out. And it's 57-32. Mata. Crosses midcourt. BYU into the front court now. Into the hands of Smiler. On the angle. Into the corner. Back to Whiting. Down into the post to Calvert. Passes out and an errant pass. A little too far in front of Bubakar. And another turnover for the Cougars. That is, I believe, the 22nd turnover of the night for BYU. The good news is they have a 25-point lead with five minutes left. Quimby into the front court for Wake Forest. Down low to Jordan. Jordan back to Coles. Coles trying to find somebody to pass it to. Now takes it herself. She's caught underneath the basket. Just throws it up. No good. 
BYU can't hang on to the rebound. It goes off of the Cougars. So with eight seconds left, Wake Forest will try and get something going here. We're under five minutes in the fourth. Quimby inbound baseline into Jordan. Jordan step back three, and that's good. That was a pretty move by Madison Jordan. 57-35 is the Cougars' lead. And a substitution for Wake Forest. Conley in. And Coles out. And Coles, by the way, is spelled C-O-W-L-E-S. So you would think Cowles, but it is not. It is Coles. Inbound to Whiting. Whiting defended by Quimby. Amari crosses midcourt. Aggressive move and now backs it out. Passes to Rose. Bubakar cross court to Smiler. Down to Calvert. Left hand jump shot. No good. Rebound to Conley. Steal by Whiting. Whiting with the layup on the other end. Showing the defense followed by the offense on the steal and the layup. 59-35 BYU. Good alert play by the freshman. Jordan, another step back three. Too short. Rebound by Amari. Four minutes left. Cougars are going to go to 4-0. Whiting, strong drive with the left hand. Floater is no good. Calvert with the rebound. Back up. No good. She's fouled on the shot and will get two free throws. Good job by Emma to get hands on it and immediately go back up and rewarded with two free throws. Emma with five points on two of three shooting. She's one of one at the free throw line. First free throw. Bounces around and drops. So Emma looking to go two for two here on this trip. It's free throws brought to you by Zions Bank. For 150 years of helping you succeed, Zions Bank is for you. And Calvert hits the second. Two for two at the line, and now we'll take a seat. Good minutes by Emma Calvert. As Heather Hampson checks in. And a turnover by Quimby. Couldn't deal with the pressure. Dribbled it off her feet. Cougars come away with it. And they push it. Hampson has it. About 15 feet away. Nice pass to Amari. Her layup, though, blocked. Good defense by Wake Forest. Now the Demon Deacons will push it. Wide open three by Alyssa Andrews. No good. Rebound to Wake Forest. McCorder is just checked in. She gets the rebound, puts it back up. No good. She is fouled. Aaliyah McCorder, the senior from Cincinnati, making her first appearance. Actually calling the foul that the the player that was fouled was Alyssa Andrews. So Andrews at the free throw line. And her first free throw is good. 61-36. Again, stay with us. Cougar Post Game Live. We'll get you final stats. Also talk with the BYU player as well as Coach Whiting on her birthday. Second free throw, no good. Pretty good birthday present, I'm sure. BYU with the rebound. Nearing three minutes to go here in Laie, Hawaii. Whiting to Mata. Now on the wing to Rose. Down low to Hampson. Hampson has a jump ball situation. Couldn't grab it cleanly and gave the defense enough time to get hands on it as well. So a jump ball and it's BYU possession arrow. Amari Whiting and Kaylee Smiler will take a seat. Woolston and Mataval back in. So Woolston, Mataval, Bubakar, Mata, and Hampson on the floor for the Cougars with 3.09 left, and they have 15 seconds to get a shot off, leading 61-36. Woolston up top to Rose. Mata set the screen instead. They'll go down low to Hampson. Heather moves to her left, no good. Rebound by Mata, and a foul will be called on Wake Forest. The foul given to Madison Jordan away from the ball. And so BYU will have two free throws because Wake Forest is over the limit. And so Marina Mata. These will be her first free throws as a BYU Cougar. 
And the first free throw is good. And a big moment for Marina Mata from Spain. Marina wearing number 20 for the Cougars. Second free throw is good. So the first career points for Marina Mata comes at the free throw line. She hits both free throws, and BYU's lead is 63-36. Quimby, strong drive baseline, is fouled on her way in for a layup, which is no good. And so she'll head to the free throw line for two. BYU right now from the field shooting just under 50%. And the free throw is no good by Quimby. Just under 50% from the field, 57% from three. That's been a big part of the game. Second free throw for Quimby is good. So 63-37. BYU winning this game is not in doubt. Just what the final score will be. We're under three minutes. Wake Forest still showing pressure. They're not giving up. They know they're going to lose this game, but they're fighting. BYU has it. 15 seconds for a shot. Matavau with it. And the Cougars right now just passing it, trying to get a good shot. Woolston out to Mata. Three-pointer from the corner is an air ball. Rebound by Wake Forest. Quimby pushes it up to McCorder. McCorder, strong drive. Count it, and she's fouled. BYU called with the block, and I believe that the block will be called on Marina Mata, and it is. So a three-point opportunity for Aaliyah McHorder. Sixty-three thirty-nine is the score. Bubakar out. And McKinley Willardson making her first appearance. So with a big lead... Cougars getting some opportunities for some of the younger players. The second free throw is no good. Rebound by Wake Forest, and they'll get a three out of it as Madison Jordan hits from the corner. She's hit a couple of threes here in the second half. And Matavau is fouled as she crosses midcourt. 2-0-1 left. So Matavau will head to the free throw line now for two. Thurkoff will check in. Checking out is Kaya Harrison for Wake Forest. This loss is going to drop the Demon Deacons to one and three, and this will be three losses in a row for Wake. BYU will improve to four and zero. Oh. Montevall's free throw is good. Giving an opportunity to go two for two, Montevall. Misses the second, and Wake Forest comes away with it. Montevall with five points. Down on the other end, Thurkoff's three. No good. Rebound to Mata. Marina has it. Falls to the ground. They're going to call a jump ball before. And Marina, I think uh, she fell on her back for a second. I thought she may have had the wind knocked out of her. But she pops back up, which is certainly good to see. That was a very quick jump ball. Marina had pulled that away, I think, in time for a BYU possession, but they call a jump ball, and Wake Forest has the possession arrow. So 149 left, BYU up 22 at 64-42. So they're going to readjust the clock to 1 minute 49. And 30 seconds on the shot clock. They'll go up top to Conley. Conley driving layup is no good, but she'll head to the free throw line for two. And right now, Wake Forest is just trying to... And I was going to say dirty it up, and I, but I don't mean dirty play. They're, they're just they're trying, to, trying to make this thing disjointed is probably a better term than dirty. I don't want to imply that they're playing dirty because that's not what they're doing. Two free throws for Conley which is interesting because she's wearing number 11, just like Mike Conley when he was with the Jazz. And the free throw is good. Speaking of the Jazz, they were here on this floor for training camp. It was fun to see that and then come here and see it in person. This is my first time not just at BYU-Hawaii, but in Hawaii in general. 
Conley's free throws are good, and it's a 20-point advantage for BYU at 64-44. Full court pressure is being set up by Wake Forest. Marina Mata will inbound. Matavao and Woolston closest to the basketball. And Mata trying to get it into Kaylee, and she does. Double team comes. Pass to Mata. Up to Willardson, and a pass to Matavao. A little too much mustard right through the hands, and another turnover by BYU. Their 24th of the ball game. And it will be Wake Forest ball, trailing by 20 with 142 left. Quimby brings it into the front court to Conley. Conley to Jordan. Another three, no good. Rebound, Woolston. Jordan's been hitting those in the second half, so you certainly don't begrudge her for taking that shot. And you're also down 20. Willardson has it. Hands off to Matavau. And now back to Woolston. Four freshmen on the floor for BYU, as well as Heather Hampson. Nine seconds for the Cougars to get a shot off. Woolston, straight away, three is good. Like it was nothing. Another three for Kaylee Woolston. She leads the Cougars in scoring. And that's another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot. Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics on the other end. Shot no good by Wake Forest. Cougars come away with it. They lead 67-44. And Woolston has it. Dribbles to the right side of the floor. Hands off to Mata. Back to Woolston. Double team comes. Woolston. Back to Mata. Baseline. Offensive foul called on Marina. Couldn't stop herself. Momentum carried her into the defender and knocked her over. So with 28.3 left, it's 67-44 BYU. Cougars will improve to 4-0. and And they have gotten into a nice rhythm to begin this season. We'll look to go 5-0 on Tuesday against St. Louis. Conley into the paint. Blocked by Hampson. How many times have we said that? Heather Hampson with the block. And now BYU will likely dribble it out. 11 seconds left in this one. 67-44. And that's exactly what BYU will do. They will not look for a shot. 3-2-1. And the buzzer hits zero. And that's your final. Cougars win 67-44. They improve to 4-0 and as they defeat Wake Forest here at the George Q. Cannon Activity Center on the campus of BYU Hawaii. We will take a break. We'll get you final stats. We'll come back with Cougar Post Game Live. We will have a player interview, and we'll talk with the head coach of the Cougars and the birthday girl, Amber Whiting, when we return to Laie, Hawaii, on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.